I don't think he liked that food. So a neonate born with meconium stain amniotic fluid is vigorous at birth. What should you do? Would it be A, intubate immediately, B, begin chest compressions, C, provide routine care, or would it be D, suction below the cords? Now listen, this debate has been going on for many years, and I remember the days when we used to say, oh, that kid's meconium stained, let's go ahead and intubate, meconium aspirator, and let's get all that meconium out. Those days are gone. Look what even this test says, the kid is vigorous. What that means is the kid's actively moving. If that child is actively moving, they're not flaccid, go ahead and just dry them off. We're gonna be performing routine care. There's not much that we need to do here. Now, the, our issue is if that child comes out non-vigorous. Then the question is, can we ventilate? One thing I do wanna mention is that meconium is just that child's first stool. And it is possible if that child's going through fetal distress, which is a heart rate less than 120, then that child can defecate during the delivery process. And then of course, if that kid delivers and aspirates his own meconium, we can all agree that that's a problem. But if I'm able to ventilate via a BVM and I'm able to get good breaths in, I'm going to continue to use the BVM. I'm only going to consider an abation for that child if I'm unable to ventilate. Now to my pair of gods out there that think they can innovate anything, you don't innovate babies and newborns. And maybe you have once in your career, maybe. Let's leave that for the hospital. Again, the answer is C.